Hello everyone, uh, nice to meet you again. Today I will introduce how to install the Nest Smart Semi-Start and the Dropier adapters. Firstly, I simply introduce how to install the uh, Nest Semi-Start on the wall. Uh, you can refer the Nest installation guide. Uh, here I will show you simply the important things. Firstly, uh, if you just replace the uh, old semi-start uh, with the next semi-start, you will use this uh, this uh, plate. Firstly, use this uh, stainless uh, plate. Just use this side face you, not not this side face you. If that face you, and you can use this uh, two long screw. Uh, to fix this plate, uh, to fix this plate on the wall, okay, just uh, like just like this way, uh, this this side face you, and after you after you fixed it on the wall, you can put the white plastic plate on the stainless plate, and uh, just like this, put the nest base. Uh, behind this, then use this uh, short screw, just uh, fix, uh, fix the next nest base on this plate. Okay, uh, this is upside. This is downside. Do not make the mistake. Uh, the screw do not fix very very hard tightly, or you will damage this uh, nest base. Uh, we miss some some case. Some guys uh, use the very hard hard strength to tighten the screw. As a result, this this base edge was was uh, damaged. So we've just finished fix uh, the nest base on the wall. Next, how to Connect the Nest adapter uh, with uh, Nest and in indoor unit. Uh, let's check, uh, review the Nest adapter. Uh, this two connector is a power supply connector. It connects the, the, uh, the, the 100 uh, to 240 voltage uh, power supply and this is RJ45 connector it is uh, connect with the nest base through a cut cable and this is a connector which are used to connect with the indoor unit we will supply the wires if needed and this is a USB connector you do not need to use it uh, we use it to program the uh, the adapter. Okay, we just we just supply the wires to connect with the indoor if needed. So when you get the adapter, normally you will only get the adapter. You would prepare the the power wires and the K6 uh, K6 wires by yourself. But normally. Uh, if uh, your air condition need to use the uh, mini six as solution, you will you will see uh, these uh, wires uh, together with the adapter. These two wires connect with your original remote controller together. And if your air conditioner use the mini six solution, you will see these wires. Uh, came together with adapter uh, connector is on the down downside connect here okay connect here just like this so uh, if you get the adapter the first time you will only get these seats uh, sometimes uh, such as LG do not need uh, the cables 
so we will only get the adapter. Then, uh, how to connect the adapter uh, with the nest base? Uh, we need to use a CASIS cable. You can do it by yourself, or you can buy a whole wire from the market. Uh, then uh, cut one side with, because on the next base side we do not use this connect we do not use this connector we just use the wires to connect the base directly so you need to cut cut it uh, cut it okay after you cut it uh, we need to take the wire screen out. plastic protector out so next because we only use need to uh, six wires so uh, and the orange orange white do not use need do not need to use so we can we can cut, cut it off orange white do not use okay so next it is a very important thing I need to remind you. If the wires is a multi cow, not the only ones, it is a multi, multi cow uh, wires, you need to use the uh, uh, cold press terminal. If you connect direct with the next base, you will get error. Uh, sometimes you cannot uh, start up the cooling or heating. Sometimes uh, the adapter's power power light, uh, the 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 red light will blinking. You will get the power problem. So do remember if you use the soft K6 cable, uh, the wire is multi core. You need to use the cold terminal. Uh, if you press the uh, cool terminal, you need to this uh, this tool and this cube. And uh, this cube is a uh, zero five zero eight size. If if the size is too big, you and then you plug plug in this terminal. You cannot plug out. So just use not more than zero five zero zero eight. Tightly, tightly, firstly, make it straight, and then put it down. We can press it. Okay, and brown white. Blue white. Most of the K6 wire are the single one, but you want to know which K6 wire are single calls, which K6. Uh, wires are the multi calls just uh, see if the wires are soft it is the multi wires if the wire is hard it is mostly the single calls You can buy this tool on the Alibaba net shop. It's cheaper. 
So if you not a professional one, you can just use uh, hard classic cable. So you do not need to press the pull the press terminal. So you don't do not need to buy this tool. Okay, finished. You can see we do all the terminal on the wires. So next we connect the wires to the master base. Okay. And to mem to remember all the uh the brown connect to the RC and the blue connect the Y1 and the blue white connect to the Y2 and the green connect to the G the brown white connect the C If your air conditioner system do not have the heat function, you do not need to connect the W1. Uh, if your air conditioning can cool, can cool and heat at the same time, you need to connect the orange to the white one. And to connect the last one, the star for the green one. Okay, uh, we finished connect the next base. Uh, we finished it just like this. Okay, then we put the nest display on the nest base. Okay, this is a power cable, uh, one typical power cable. Uh, we use this called power cable to connect with uh, adapter but one more important thing you need to know is if the power if the power wire power wires are the multi we do not suggest to connect it directly uh it, it will not not safe because when you connect the, the the terminal uh some wires will, will take out and then we are connected with this one they will uh crash so I su suggest you use the uh, wire commit uh, code press terminal. Sometimes you cannot get this one. You you can use uh you can use this way to tie to make it it very tightly before you connect in. Okay, it is very tightly, so we can now it is easy. To connect into. The adapter. Uh, pay attention to the nature and end of the line. Okay, do not use so big strength, stress. Do not use so big stress, you will destroy the screw. Okay, just uh, confirm it is uh, tightly uh, connected. So then we can connect uh, the wire to the socket. And then power on. We will see uh, the power light is on and the blue light is blinking it means uh, the data is beginning to work uh, we can see uh, this terminal 
on the indoor unit. This is terminal is uh, supply the power for in the for the indoor unit, so we can uh, get the power use this same terminal. So in this situation, we we only need to use this cable to two side. One side is connect with the uh, adapter. So. If we use this uh, this way to connect to supply the power for the nest adapter, we do not uh, set up a socket for it. So it is uh, mostly used as a method to su for supply the power uh, near the indoor net. Okay. Okay. Let, let's uh, use this socket to supply the power for the nest adapter. After we power on the nest adapter, we connect the RJ45 connector to the uh, adapter. Then we can see the Google logo on the central screen. Okay, it finished the starting up. Uh, the final step, I will show you how to connect the the nest adapter with indoor in it. Uh, for example, we use the Hitachi to show how to connect uh, the Mini 6S adapter use the two wire solution. Okay, uh, we already set up a simple demo uh, of the Hitachi indoor in a system. And this is the uh, indoor unit original remote controller. Uh, this is a signal terminal and this is Indonesia PCB. Uh, how to connect the nest adapter with, uh, with the internal system. Uh, we can, from the diagram of our menu, we can see our uh, these two uh, signal wires connect with the uh, original remote controller. So we can connect the controller on the remote controller side. So we open the the shell of the original com remote controller. We can connect the wires here on these two terminal. And if we install uh, the adapter beside the in the unit, it will more easier to connect the, the, the two wire signal uh, the, the signal wire with on this terminal it will more uh, more easy yeah. just power off the indoor in it okay and then we connect the wires here uh, for the Hitachi this two wire do not have the polity so you can connect either of them actually so now we pull power on the internet again you can see the original remote controller start up okay uh, the original remote controller finished the starting up now we can Turn on the nest semi start and let it begin the fan model. We will see the original semi start begin the fan model. And this uh, the green light is uh, changed from the blinking to the always on. It means it has a signal from the nest to the adapter. So you can check if there is uh, the nest base why the connect well or not from this. Uh, green light so we can now turn off it we will see the green light uh, became a blink blinking and the original controller it turns off uh, okay that's all